it is Wednesday, so you know what that means. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday, and I'm so excited to have you all here. So sit back and relax. I am very excited to be showing you some of our latest finds. Uh, these have been sourced from all over the world. We've got pieces coming all the way from the 1930s through the 1980s. Uh, I hope you can learn a little something and I hope that we can inspire you to add some of these treasures to your jewelry box and to your look because it is a perfect way to help you look and feel your best without having to get a new closet full of clothes or feeling like you have to constantly reinvent yourself. So there's lots of reasons to enjoy Having a vintage jewelry collection, I mean, first and foremost, it's wonderful because all the pieces are unique. Uh, they really will help you look and feel your best. So without further ado, let's start by talking about some of my favorites this week. And I just wanna give a warm welcome. We've got Carol joining us. We've got Rhonda joining us. We've got Anne joining us. This is a great opportunity to also chat and get to know other vintage jewelry enthusiasts and just women that love jewelry in general. So it's a really great opportunity. Be sure to say hello to each other uh, because one of the other fun parts is that we learn the more we learn about you, we do this all for you, the more that we learn people love bracelets, they love check jewelry, it reminds them of people who they loved from before uh, that have may have passed on. They have special memories and connections to pieces. And that's one of the fun parts about it too. So it's like all these little memories that are scattered about. So I've got two great trays, although I will say this week's collection was an absolute hit. Uh, thank you very much for that. Lots of beautiful pieces off uh, to new homes, but we still have some great ones that are up for adoption or if we're looking to have a new style story written by hopefully one of you beautiful ladies. So I'm going to start off as I always do showing you a couple of my favorite pieces and then we'll talk about some of the other pieces that are in the collection. And if you have any questions at all, do do not hesitate to ask. See, Elaine says there, hello, jewelry peeps. I couldn't agree more. Hello, all our jewelry loving fans. All right, so it is hard for me to pick a favorite this week, but I will say what an outstanding week for bracelets. We had so many gorgeous bracelets this week uh, and it was just really fun to be able to source them and find them all for you. This one is by far, I have to say, my favorite. So I'm a little shocked that this one is here. At the same time, maybe it's a sign that this one should go into my collection. No, 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 it's meant for one of you. In any case, this bracelet is awesome. So it's a nice articulated panel link bracelet, but it has the most interesting stones on it. So it's got some turquoise art glass. Uh, it's got some opaline. Uh, it has a dragon's breath. And then it's really neat because it's actually also set like book chain style. So it has this like Victorian revival style going on. But then at the same time, it's got these sort of funky mid-century modern stones on it. Now I'm a fan of chunky bracelets. I love the way that they look. I think that they're very unique and I love vintage chunky bracelets because they're just very well made. Uh, the plating is really nice. There's really, really beautiful stones. Uh, there's really nice composition. And what's really fun about this one is it's got this nice varying collection of different styles with the stones as well too. So it's kind of fun to see the cooler tones that have now been mixed with the sort of fiery opal too at the same time. So this one goes all the way around. It features a very secure fold-over clasp, and it's a wide fold-over clasp. So we're talking like between a half inch and five eighths, and if we're really quiet, you can hear the click. So it's a great piece. This is a super fun one. It's a nice mid-century modern design. And I do like this one also because this one would be super fun to be able to just wear with jeans and a t-shirt. So it's a really great piece to be able to wear dressed up or dressed down. It'd be fun to put it with some other opal pieces too, or you could layer it up with some silver chains. By the way, now I'm stopping for just a minute. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Margaret. Uh, hello, Rhonda. Um, yes, I see Rhonda saying this one is too large for your wrist but that's the beauty of it so we do try to get pieces in a variety of sizes so that we can have everybody find the perfect piece for them so that is one of my other favorites now for all of you who may not know this I would like to pride myself as being a bit of a renaissance woman but I also have an associates in interior design and I'm actually part of this group 
called the Grand Millennial uh, Decor Group. And really, it's all about like women who like love antiques and toile and, uh, you know, all kinds of really fun things, lots of chinoiserie, lots of like wallpaper panels. So the really over the top, even in decor, really appeals to me. I'm very much an old soul in that area. And one thing that's always very popular in that group is uh, vintage bamboo. So I love anything that has a bamboo design. The other fun thing about the bamboo designs is they're very Gucci inspired. So if you've ever looked at any of the higher end designs, like the buckles on like Gucci handbags, or if you look at the buckles that they have on their flats, lots of places that they use sort of bamboo incorporated in their design. So it's a really easy way to invest in a vintage bracelet, but still get that high end couture look. So this one's also got a lot of other things going for it too. I mean, the first of which is it's very well made. It's silver, so we have a lot of people that love the silver pieces to go with other rhodium plated pieces to go with white gold or platinum. Uh, but this one's got the fun bamboo design, so it's also reminiscent of the mid-century modern. Uh, thanks, Natalie, I try. And also the other fun part about it is that it's a side piece. So it's actually a vintage Napier, which I know you've heard me talk about before. Napier has an incredible long history of being just a huge contributor to the designer and costume jewelry world. Uh, they go all the way back to the 20s and the 30s, and they've produced so many pieces. They've had their pieces copied by other designers. So it's always nice to be able to invest in a piece that's got a little bit of history to it. But I also want to point out that one of the things that makes it really great and collectible in terms of designers is Napier didn't skimp on the details. So as you can see, this one has got a safety chain on it, making it nice, secure. Also, again, I don't know if we can listen, but we can probably hear the snap test on this one. Yep. Nice, tight, secure. And then it is also signed Napier on the inside. You'll have to zoom in on the website. And I know Ms. Leanne put the links out on it. And I see there's several other people who are commenting here. People who love toile, people who love... Um, who love chinoiserie, people who love accent walls. So yes, so this totally speaks to my grand millennial, my chinoiserie loving, my wallpaper loving style uh, of all those really great mid-century modern designs. But this is also a pretty classic one. So I can just picture this one while having a cocktail party. So this is a great piece. It's a nice one. You can also totally wear this one casually. Uh, if you have a square faced watch, you can totally layer this up with a square faced watch as well. Uh, otherwise, it's another perfect one to put jeans and jewelry with. So um, yes, this one is just the best and I love bamboo. I love bamboo too. So great piece. You can pick that one up on the website. It's part of our latest collection as well. So as long as we're talking about bracelets, uh, we've got another awesome piece. So this one is an etched or sort of an embossed metal piece, kind of that reposé style. This one's definitely a Victorian Gothic revival people piece from the 1950s. And this one is a fun one because it's got this like, a, you know, articulated sort of column style design. It's articulated, so it's going to move with you. And it also features just the most beautiful detailing on it. This one is also signed very small in the class. Again, you'll have to take a closer look at it on the website, but it's a Whiting and Davis. Uh, and Whiting and Davis is actually very popular around here. We got a lot of ladies that love Whiting and Davis. This one also has this invisible setting to it. I had to take this one down in order for me to get it on myself. That's another test. None of these are doorman bracelets. Everybody can put these on themselves. Let's see if we can hear the click. That time we could not. Too close to my head. Uh, but this one, another great piece about it is that this one also has a safety chain on it. So it's got a little tiny jump ring on the side and you can clip it on ahead here. So that one also makes it just a really nice high quality piece. And then just the design is really pretty. So it's a unique because it's got the scallops that are going all the way around it. Again, this is another one that you can totally dress up or totally dress down and do lots of fun things with it. As long as I'm talking about this piece, we also have got some gorgeous pieces also from Whiting and Davis. So this is another Victorian revival style, 1950s. Uh, these are signed Whiting and Davis on the back. And this is like a hematite set in a silver tone. 
So this is from the same designer. For those of you who are joining me and you're just beginning to learn about things, because I see we've got some new people who are joining us too, which by the way, it's awesome when you guys invite your friends. Uh, so this one is a Whiting and Davis. The earrings I have on are a Whiting and Davis. Let's put the other one on so you can kind of get an idea of the size and the scale. These are definitely ones that you can easily be able to wear every day and enjoy. So these have got the hematite sort of styling, which has got that kind of mirrored, which interestingly enough, if you like um, Flemish and mid-century, uh, if you like Northern Renaissance art, they use a lot of things with the convex mirrors in them. So I really always like the hematite pieces because it sort of has a domed style to it, which always reminds me of a lot of the mirrors that they have pictured in Flemish art from the Northern Renaissance era. So I just, all kind of random things. So, but I do like convex mirrors. So the hematite reminds me of a convex mirror style. It's got the deeper hematite in it. And it also goes really nicely with the bracelet. And we also have a Whiting and Davis matching pendant that goes with the earrings too. And this sort of has a filigree style design going around it. It's a nice oval. Uh, what this one has going for it is it's also a longer piece. So I have that vintage check necklace on today. This is kind of one of my favorite combinations. I like purple with chartreuse. So that's the reason why I have this one on. So you can see that this sits at a nice longer length too. And it looks really great with the earrings. So this one is a fun one as well. So these are all Whiting and Davis pieces. We had some other signed Whiting and Davis pieces. We had some really nice bracelets. Uh, those like flew out of here as soon as they hit the hit the site on uh, Sunday night. So that's the reason why you got to see. So we've got some fun, fun pieces. The articulation on this one is really, really unique. Okay, let's talk about the necklace I have on. So like I was saying, I oh, oh, Sparky. Sorry guys. I forgot to put him away. <laughs> and now one of one of my children is coming home from choir practice. Uh, so this is the marbled check necklace. And I like this one for a lot of different reasons. I mean, the first of all, the marbling style on the beads. So it's a 1930s piece, which makes it really nice and really beautiful. Uh, the other thing that I like about this is the variation in it. If you get very close to it, you really can appreciate the marbling and the amethyst or the purple colored stones. I like this one also because it has this sort of unique flat link chain that is in between the beads, which makes it totally wearable, uh, whether you're dressing things up or dressing things down, or in this case, really easy to be able to layer over higher neck blouses. But if you noticed earlier, I had a very tiny pendant. Uh, it was like a little silver, it was like a sterling silver with kind of an oyster in the center. And that was actually a necklace that my sister gave to me. And I had been wearing it because I wanted people to see how easy it is to actually layer this necklace with other pieces. So this is another piece that's from this week's collection. Uh, this one is the amethyst faceted check piece. And this one is kind of cool because this one has got these little gold barrels that are mixed in between the purple. So kind of like this one has got the larger stations with the smaller chain. This one has got more beads and this one has got the little gold ones that are in between it. So it's a really beauty piece. It's really easy to be able to wear. Uh, I like this one also because it's really easy to get on and off. And this one also looks really pretty with marcasite jewelry. So you might have noticed there were some pretty marcasite pieces this week. Uh, there was a nice pair of marcasite style leaves. This looks really pretty with it. You can layer up some necklaces and some brooches together. This would be a really pretty combination with the marcasite with the oxidized silver in it. There is a nice little petite pair of sterling silver earrings. These are all really nice ways to be able to mix this necklace with other pieces. So if you like marcasite jewelry and you have some other pieces, you might wanna keep that in mind because they look really, really lovely with this piece. And if you can see, you can see the way that this kind of has like a marbleized pearl texture. And the closer you get to the beads, the more that you can see they have like a swirl effect, just like a marble. 
So that is one of my top favorites. And again, I think it's really easy to actually wear with a variety of colors. Like I said, I have this sort of chartreuse color. It's kind of a greeny, lemony color, but it's really easy to be able to wear with a lot of purple jewelry. So this one is the shorter one. Uh, this one has a lighter colored purple to it. And these are faceted check beads versus the other ones that are round. And this one's got some little gold stations that are in between it. So for those of you who like wearing classic gold earrings, this one's a really pretty one. This one is another one that's really easy to layer. It's a shorter length. And as you know, I like wearing things that are a little bit longer, but this one is super comfortable, super easy to wear. So for those of you who like to be able to layer up other pieces, definitely take a closer look at this one. Now, speaking of check pieces, uh, this one is the purple crystal, which is really, really beautiful. And this one has got the faceted sort of kind of prism cut. And then this one has the elongated prism cuts that are with it too. This one has the most dynamic purple color to it. And the fact that it has the larger faceted beads that are within it makes it just a very gorgeous piece. Now this one also, and this one's nice and cool to the touch. So for those of you who like the way that certain pieces feel on, you'll love the way that this one feels. So this one's got these little hand knots that are in between the different sizes of the beads. This one also features a spring ring clasp. It's a very tight spring ring clasp. And what I just wanted to let you know is that if you have any kind of the longer necklace extenders, so this one is a four inch, this one you can easily be able to wear this one long. So for those of you who like longer pieces, this one will definitely fit that bill. Let me open up the clasp here. Okay. Ooh. This one has got such a tight clasp that you got to get it through the hole. There we go. So this one is a nice longer length, but if you do take an extender to it, like I was going to show you, you can easily be able to double this one as well. Yeah, it's a really, really vibrant purple. It's a really beautiful one, and it's really got some nice translucent color too. You know, purple is, of course, the color of, you know, royal too, so it's another great piece, and I do like that this one is a longer length. But as I had mentioned, so I have the shorter purple one on. So you can easily be able to layer it up. Of course, now we're getting to that point where I'm getting nervous that I'm gonna get something stuck in my hair and I can't get it off. And that's right, okay. Whew. Oh, Sparky. Probably sees a squirrel. <laughs> so this one is also, if you take a longer extender to it, this one you can also wear doubled for those of you who like being able to wear pieces that are more. This one is got one of those older clasps in which you have to push it shut. But this one, it's not quite long enough to be able to wear it doubled without an extender. But for those of you who do like wearing things with an extender, just remember, turn the extender to the back so that you don't see the silver. But for those of you who like being able to wear something more torsade style or higher up, how pretty and how easy is that? And when you wear it against the skin, you can really see the sparkle on the clear cut crystal. So lots of easy ways to be able to wear this. Um, you know, you can wear it with silver earrings. You can wear it with crystal earrings. You don't have to wear earrings, but this one is another really pretty one. And like I said, it does have some versatility to it. Uh, and it is very easy to be able to use an extender on it and make it even more versatile in terms of being able to wear it. So really, really beautiful coloring in that one. Now let's see, what do we have up next? So as long as I'm talking about my color that I have on today, uh, we have got a really fun and funky. I'm 100% sure that this is from West Germany because I had a necklace that was like this with blue fluted crystal uh, several years ago. So this one is really neat. 
Um, it's funny because Pam, who was also in our private Facebook group, she was commenting about this one the other day. So this one is really fun. This one has got these little lucite pieces, but I'm calling them like little lily pads. They really do. So they look like little lily pads with little red flowers on it. And this one is neat. It has crystals that are in the center of it uh, and it lays so fun on. Now, the other thing that I wanna impress upon you with this particular piece is it's light as air. So it has this really beautiful triple graduated strand styling to it, but it is so light. It's so easy to be able to wear. It's one of those pieces that you're gonna just forget that it's on. Uh, the other thing that's really awesome about it is, is that the top strand starts at like an 18 inch. So for those of you who like being able to wear longer pieces, this one is super fun. You can also easily mix it with red jewelry. So for example, we've got those little red gold dot uh, intaglio cameo earrings. You can barely see the little hint of the red inside of it. And let me tell you, if you're thinking red and green, aren't those Christmas colors? No, not at all. The green on here is so light and so refreshing. Like I said, they look like little lily pads, which it's kind of fun. They're unique, they're different, and you could definitely be able to put other red jewelry with it and play up on the little red crystals that you see in the middle. So it's just a super fun, really unique. Somebody else said they look like sliced olives. Well then pour me a martini. They do, they look like little sliced olives. Boy, that's a great other combination. So this one has got the little fluting with the green inside of it. Uh, the crystals that you see in between are actual crystals. Uh, uh, they are not uh, like faceted lucite. These, the larger discs though, the little lily pads or olive slices, uh, they are lucite and they do have a red crystal that's in the center. So they're super fun. They're really easy to wear. Like I said, you could easily be able to put this with these little red earrings that are from Gold Dot. You could wear it with other classic gold pieces. You could wear it with other green. Lots of fun things that you could be able to do with this one. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it also has a J-hook closure on it. So for those of you who prefer, prefer being able to have a J-hook versus like a lobster class, you can easily be able to put this one on and off. And even it's got even some nice decorative elements in terms of the way that the findings match up. Uh, I'm surprised that it's not signed, but I did have a necklace that was very similar to this that was a blue several years ago, and that one was signed to West Germany. So that's another fun piece that we have. Uh, all right, we talked about the bracelets. That huge rhinestone pot metal brooch we had sold today. So that one is off to a new home. Lots of people liked that one. Uh, well, as long as I have red, let's talk more about some of the beautiful red pieces that we have. So we've got these great little intaglio cameos. Uh, for those of you who loved that heraldic sort of medieval night scene bracelet, these actually go really nice with that bracelet. And then bezel set necklaces are always so popular here at Vintage Meat Modern. It's for all of our Art Deco loving gals that love that Colette set. And this one features a flat link. This one is probably like a 1960s, early 1970s piece. So this is a mid-century modern style Colette or bezel set necklace. And this is another fun one. This one is another great one where I kind of, like I said, I like this sort of chartreuse color. And I like this chartreuse color actually with red. So this one is a nice piece. It's a little daintier. Uh, I like it doubled. You could even do it tripled. And it has some little dangling red stones that are on it. This is another great one if you're looking for something that's lightweight or if you're looking for something to layer with your other fine jewelry. So for those of you who might have like a small diamonds by the yard necklace, maybe you wear a solitaire pendant, this is another really easy piece to be able to layer up. And it's kind of nice because, you know, the... 1920s, 1930s era pieces had the Colette and the bezel set pieces. And then there went through a small resurgence of it in like the 60s. And then, of course, we saw how popular they were again in the 1980s when Chanel did them. And then they were also made in Austria and by Swarovski. So this one's a really great piece. It's got really vibrant, really beautiful color. You can see how nice it looks with the uh, red earrings. You can also, we've got a very pretty red and purple brooch. So remember I was showing you earlier uh, how I like to be able to wear purple with this color too. 
and you can be able to sort of pin this one and you can bring out both the purple colors that you see either in the purple necklaces, like the amethyst color. This one looks like it's got black stones in it, but it's actually a really deep amethyst in the cabochons. Uh, and then you can see how it brings out the red too. So for those of you who like to layer up and be able to wear sets, or for those of you who like being able to wear a necklace and then wear a matching brooch on your coach or blazer, this one is a really fun one. So Margaret says that she was the one who said that the necklace looks like olives. So uh, yes, and Jennifer said that I like the ones that are cute and unusual. And I agree, I like the ones that are cute and unusual too. So we've got a beautiful cabochon style brooch. You can't really see very well that it's an amethyst, but it is. It's a purple colored stone and then a red colored stone with just a hint of Aurora Borealis. But if you love the color red and you like being able to pull all the pieces together, that's definitely a really fun one. <clears throat> Anybody else get really, really dry now all the time um, from wearing masks? So... This one is, and I'm not complaining over that. I'm just saying my throat is more dry than it used to be from that. So this is the red bezel set necklace. So we've got this really pretty piece. You could also put this one with the vintage Emmons piece, and you could bring out the reds that you see in the crystals as you do in the vintage brooch. All righty. Let's talk about a few of my other really favorites that we have. Well, as long as I have these on. We can talk about that awesome statement necklace that we have. It's a vintage Florenza because I kind of like these earrings with it too. So I was actually reading, um, for those of you, if anybody's here, put a one in the comments if you work from home or if you're working from home right now. So I was reading a really interesting article about personal style and working from home and one of the things they said is that it's a great opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. So for those of you who are not having to get dressed up or abide by a dress code or something like that, it's a fun time to try to experiment and wear some different kinds of styles. So this is, I'm going to be showing you some great statement necklaces now. So this is the vintage Florenza. Let's see, Michelle put a one. Remember, the question is, if you're working from home right now, put a one. And we got a bunch of people watching us, so I know that you can all answer. If you're not working from home and you're working out of home, put a two. So this is the uh, this is the vintage Florenza tassel necklace. This one's got some really lovely turquoise deal. Um, has some really lovely turquoise little accents. It's got some faux cameos. This one is a nice sort of Victorian revival people piece. Remember, the Florenza pieces are always very popular. Uh, you can definitely be able to wear this one uh, with a pair of clip earrings, like I'm matching the little cameos up with it. So this one is another really great piece. It's one of our fabulous statement necklaces that we have this week. Now, let's see which other statement necklaces I have. Hey, Jennifer, glad you're here joining us too. We have got another awesome statement piece. So speaking of bezel set necklaces, this one is another one of my favorites. It takes a little bit of work to get it all kind of organized. Although I don't know, it's kind of fun when you kind of put it all on together too. So I, if another term that has been kind of going around is the neck mess. And for those of you who a few years ago it was show me your rings, that was another big one. Uh, another one that was real popular a few years ago was broach it. So see, much easier once you get the whole thing. Doesn't that look fun though? Uh, it looks just like a cast of fun crystals. So this is the multi-strand necklace with the gold. This one is also, this one is most likely an unsigned gold dot. Uh, you can identify it from the clasp and the styling and also very popular also for using those bezel set crystals. And for those of you who are keeping up with your jewelry terms, right now what's going around as a popular uh, thing is the neck mess, 
which is basically layers of necklaces all together. But look at how pretty and how beautiful this one is. So this one really gives you that high end couture look and couture styling again, but it has got all of these little beautiful bezel set crystals. So this one is really beautiful. This one has got the gold styling to it. Uh, definitely very easy to be able to wear against solid colors. So if you wear a lot of t-shirts or a lot of cashmere sweaters, uh, you know, we'll be heading into fall. This is a great one, especially if you love wearing solid colors. So it lays beautifully when it's on. It is totally worth straightening out the strands to get it right. Uh, we have had this piece in a smoky crystal before, but like I said, this is just a beautiful cascade of gold chains and absolutely beautiful bezel set crystals. And it's one of those examples of how these pieces just lay so well. The graduation is done so nicely on these designer vintage pieces that you can definitely feel the quality and you can definitely tell that the design was really well thought out and executed by these pieces. So also very nice heavy 18 karat gold plating on it. So no wear to the metal. And then again, another real tight, secure. Let's see if we can hear it snap. Now that one's a pretty quiet one, but that one has a nice secure snap on it as well. So this one is another favorite of mine. This one is another one that takes a little bit of work, but is worth every single getting it organized. Is This one is another fabulous neck mess style one uh, that features faux pearls in a silver tone. And it's got some art glass beads, these little beads that you see that are within here. Uh, these are actually sort of figure eight tubular glass beads. And then it also has these rhinestone rondelle beads that have been put together in it. This one features a push in V clasp. So the other one had kind of a uh, fold over clasp. This one features a V clasp on it. I'm just making sure I'm getting it organized so that when I put it on, so for those of you who like the high-end look of the one that is all graduated on the other side in the gold, this is kind of a silver version of it, but it also has the pearls with it, which I do like the gray pearls. We have kind of a gray pewtery pearl uh, that matches this up. So if you've got any real pearls or if you've got a pair of majoric pearls in the sort of gray silver tone, you can pull out the gray color that you see in here but these are, of course, a really great pair to be able to wear with other um, rhinestone jewelry and little rhinestone earrings. But this one's another one of my favorites. This one has such a, I cannot impress upon you that with these multi-strand necklaces, when they're done really well, they have the look and the feel of the couture styling pieces. So, you know, when you flip through the magazine ads or you start looking at the fall runway looks and you see the way that these pieces all look together you know, for the higher end designers like Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld and even Dior and things like that, you're definitely getting that look and that feel with these pieces without the $1,800 price tag. So, and there's something to be said for that. If you're looking to make investments in pieces like that, I always tell you, get the vintage Dior, get the vintage Givenchy, get the vintage Fendi, get the vintage Karl Lagerfeld. They're all pieces that retain their value. So I'm not trying to stray you from that. If you love those pieces, we carry those pieces as well. But what I am trying to tell you also is that if you do want to get the look and the feel of those pieces without having to buy six different necklaces to layer, you're always going to be able to achieve that look through these pieces. This looks so pretty on like a winter white and a cashmere. This looks so beautiful against classic black. Just a really, really great piece. So this one is definitely one of my top favorites and what really makes this one real outstanding. So like the other one with the bezel sets, what really makes this one outstanding are those little art glass pieces that are mixed in with the faux pearls. All righty, we're moving right along here. This collection was a hit. So we, there's a lot of pieces that are still left, uh, but there definitely were a lot of really fan favorites. Okay, so you know another piece that I'm really a huge fan of? I really love the pieces that are from Kramer, New York. Uh, Kramer even did some designs for Christian Dior. Uh, we have this really gorgeous pair of, let me straighten these out. We have a really beautiful pair 
of these vintage tiered Art Deco style rhinestones. And these are a vintage Kramer New York and they have an older Kramer New York signature on them. It's very teeny tiny, but don't worry, you'd be able to find it with your loop. So these have a tiered style design, which is kind of neat. So it's got this layer of little marquees, then it has another layer of little marquees, and then it has some baguettes stacked across the top. So again, it has this kind of stacked sort of tier style design. This is great if you have any Art Deco line style bracelets and just the sparkle is so fantastic on this one. So really another pair that's just very comfortable, very easy to wear. And as you can see, the design really catches all of the facets with the beautiful 1950s rhinestones. So just another great pair of earrings. Um, not too big, not too small, so really easy to be able if you've got longer hair or a bob, and it doesn't matter what sort of your coloring is either, this is going to go with everything that you have. But I do like that sort of kind of bubbled and then the way that you look at it and you can see that there's a whole other tier of pieces. Again, these are a really nice pair. Very secure clasps no dark stones, and also no wear to the plating either. So another piece, very high quality. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to jump up and down to show you, but I am going to tell you that they're a very nice, secure piece. Kramer pieces are always really gorgeous and full of sparkle and shine. You're right, they are. Because they were another high-end designer, they were carried at the department stores, uh, and they were just very well made. Really beautiful attention to detail. Excuse me, had to take a water break there. All right, uh, now that we've got a collectible piece this week. So again, we had that uh, Royal Coin bracelet this week. Uh, this one is a rare Crown Trafari. Uh, this one is a book piece. This one is a collectible one. And also in that same sort of kind of like just interest, what's hot right now, coin jewelry is always hot. Uh, it's another one that is very collectible and people love it. Uh, they gravitate towards different sort of styles of it. Uh, we had that really beautiful Pauline Raider piece. That one is sold and off to a new home. So the gold pieces are ones that are very popular. The silver ones are harder to find, but they are also equally as popular. So I was just going to say again, that if you're looking for statement necklaces, this one is signed Crown Shafari on the little hang tag there and this one is another great one to either wear on top of other pieces or if you're looking to do something really kind of sexy and fun you can just obviously wear this in a deep v too so another great attention to detail so there's a reason why they call crown trafari the three kings of the vintage and the costume jewelry world uh the three kings of beautiful designs uh everybody kind of had their own little contributions as to whether they were sinking patents or they were putting designs together with stones or they were looking at things in the fashion world that were going to be influential and popular and this is a perfect example of this. So this is also sort of a little break in tradition. I think when we think of Crown Shafari pieces, we either think of the pieces that have the beautiful rhinestones or we think of the pieces that are the classic gold tone. But this one is literally got that higher end design again. So, you know, for those of you who like the pieces with the coins, this is a beautiful one. It lays really nicely and it also has got that real collectability with the coins. So this one's another fun one. Again, this is a book piece. It's a nice piece, great statement style to it uh, and very easy to be able to wear. Totally dress this up with like a black sheath dress or totally dress this down with a white shirt or a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans just lots and lots of ways to be able to wear this one and to be able to enjoy it too. Plus, when you look at the coins and you take a closer look at them, they really have beautiful cast work to them. So we're not talking about any ugly cameos here or any ugly embossed coins. These have really, really nice detailing of everything from the little sort of crowns that they're wearing, sort of Roman emperor style, to the way that the hair is, just really beautiful design and workmanship. And I love anything that's always a little bit of a collectible. We also have a earlier 
piece, we have a genuine agate, jade, and rose quartz brooch. Uh, so for those of you who are looking for some healing stones and some good fortune, you can get that in both of these. Uh, this has a sea style clasp and it is set in sterling. And this one is another fun one. I think that we're gonna see some more uh, true Victorian and Wardian uh, styles that are gonna be popular again. So I think that these little line style brooches are gonna be very, very popular, especially when we're going into the winter season and another, or I should just say fall season in general. We're seeing a lot of cream tones that are trending and then they're being added with darker florals like maroons, dark rose, uh, darker florals. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of pieces that are reminiscent of those 1950s styles. So I do see a lot of bar pins that are coming back in style. This one's a really unique one because it's got the little semi-precious gemstones that are with it. And so this one is another fun one to be able to actually, you can put this across your collar too if you want to pin it underneath. And it would also look really lovely. I'm trying to think there is a website that I want to say that carries some really nice vintage reproduction sweaters right now. Now, of course, I always want to encourage you to be very echo conscious and to go ahead and to purchase pieces. You know, like I said, I love finding things on thread off and everything, but I will say if you love vintage sweaters and you're a bustier girl like me, uh, it's hard to find ones that fit. But I want to say there is a website that does have very authentic looking vintage sweaters and they are much more forgiving. So if I can find the link to that, this would be beautiful with one of their sweaters. All right. We have a beautiful Bergeré set. This one is also a little bit more unusual. Uh, for those of you who like the modernist style design, this one I'm always calling the half moon necklace because it sort of looks like a half moon. You know, Mr. Michael, he coined that one, the half moon. So this one has got the blue that is set in the brushed silver tone. And there's a very lovely pair of earrings. And as you can see, this is another one. This is kind of a fun one, plays up on the navy sort of styling uh, that you can definitely mix with these sort of chartreuse kind of natural colors too. And you can totally make this one more preppy also if you want to put it with like a forest or an emerald green color as well. And of course, it looks great with your classic black and white too. The other fun thing that I really do like about this one is the blue color is a true blue. It's not a navy or a midnight blue. So it doesn't blend in and look black. It actually looks blue. So this is the Bergeré piece. We've got a great pair of clip earrings that match it. Really awesome 1960s, uh, you know, mid-century modern vibe to it. And like the silver with the brush tone uh, has that real polished sort of sexy kind of mad men styling that you would see actually when you were watching those styles of period pieces uh, if you're a fan of the sort of fashion and styling from those sort of eras. So this one is another really great piece. And actually, I just noticed, even with the pieces that were going back uh, to like that 1930s era, you know, we've got a lot of great pieces that we that feature these little flat link chains in between things. Here's another flat link. Here's another flat link. Uh, we also, we showed you the red with the gold. That's another flat link. So lots of different fun, fabulous pieces. And it's interesting that how many kind of fell into the same sort of style and design with the chain. Just goes to show that great history and great design repeats itself. So that's it. We've got a lot of awesome pieces. Uh, thank you so much for all your support this week. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for saying that you look good with this top. Uh, this top was uh, something that I found at Nordstrom Rack on sale. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, I am a fan of speaking of things. So like when I do shop online on Thread Up, I do buy a lot of pieces from Nanette Lepore. That's who this one is by. It's like kind of a little more fun, playful style, uh, but they also sort of have kind of like a retro feel to them too. And the pieces are a high quality. I have a Nanette Lepore brown striped blazer from when I worked at Neiman Marcus 20 years ago. And I have to say the lining on the inside of the blazer is as beautiful as the striped pattern on the outside. So if you can find her pieces, I would definitely go ahead and look her up because they always look really nice uh, with different kind of styles. And especially if you kind of gravitate towards those retro styles, but need things that are more forgiving in size of cut, she's a great one to look for. 
So woo, we have a lot of fun pieces. I do want to tell you that I do think that some of these ones are really outstanding. So if you have been waiting to find the perfect piece for yourself, or if you saw something tonight that you know would be a great addition to someone else's jewelry box or to their styling, please reach out to those people and let them know that they're here because so many times we're searching for pieces that are completely unique or we're looking for something that we really know is gonna set us apart from the rest and that's exactly what we have here. So again, some of the best highlights tonight, definitely the Napier um, or Napier uh, bamboo bracelet. Like I said, very high end styling, really beautiful pieces. Uh, I say it over and over again that if you're going to invest in a piece that's just going to take you kind of all different sort of places, the uh, multi-strand necklace is a great one. I cannot say enough beautiful things about that marbled glass piece that I wore today. It's another one that's really comfortable, very easy to wear. Uh, and you can't get over that like beautiful 1930s styling to it. It does have a very romantic quality to it. And uh, of course, any of the bracelets. The bracelets were just fabulous this week. They were so fun from the waiting in Davis to the art glass with the opaline, lots of beautiful pieces for you to be able to choose from and pieces that you can definitely dress up and dress down. So Elaine says, thank you. I love my live Wednesdays with all of you. Deborah said, thanks for showing them off. It's a good party. Good to see all the pieces. Good to connect with all of you. Jennifer says, everything looks good with that top. Uh, we had a lot of nice people who joined us over here. Big pop. Um, Papa over on uh, Instagram, the Willie Medina, Ema Jewelry, Oilio Collection, lots of fun people that are from all over the world. And it means more than you know to have us all join. So this is a fun way to start September. This is a fun way to be able to, you know, enjoy some unique pieces that you can't find anywhere else. And this is a great way to celebrate the joy of jewelry and great style and sparkle all together. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day uh, to be here. We're always thrilled to see all of you and to talk to all of you. It was so fun yesterday answering all of your Tuesday, Tuesday posts. You all have such incredible taste, uh, but it's also fun to hear what pieces that you all gravitate towards so much. I love when you guys get to be the judges. So head on over to VMM. I hope that you really do love all the pieces that you see over there. There's so much to see and so much to enjoy. All of these pieces are from the Strands and Sparkles collection. And I assure you, the perfect piece is right there waiting for you. So everybody have a great night. I really enjoyed you all tuning in. Uh, and I'll see you guys all again real soon. Have a fabulous evening. Good night. <laughs>